From the test driven development theory presentation, you have seen how TDD can improve the quality of our code and also deliver an application that the QA team and the customer is expecting. Because we drive our code, application code from the tests and the tests are written from the requirements. So we stay close to the requirements and also we improve the quality. From this hands-on presentation, you will see a very simple TDD example in action so that you can start using or doing TDD. I will also do a lot more complex examples in the near future. Let's get started. The requirement we have on hand here is very simple. Given a name, the method or our application should return hello the name. So we will start doing TDD for this. Let's start by creating a new simple Java project. Let's name it TDD demo. By default, the Eclipse projects usually have the source folder unless it uh, one source folder, which is SRC, unless it's a Maven project. So I'm going to create another source folder called test. And we should always start our development work from the test folder by creating a new JUnit test case. Since our class is going to return a hello name, I'm going to name it hello name test. The package is going to be com.bharat.tdd. Finish, add the JUnit library to your class path, select that and hit OK. will generate as the skeleton code for our test case with a simple test method inside it. So we'll start creating the class we want, the instance of the class we want. We'll say new hello name. So this class doesn't even exist. We are creating the class. That's our requirement. We should have a class which with a method which will return hello and the name that we passed to it. So Eclipse Compliance, click on the error message, create the class. So we are driving our code from the test. Here instead of the test folder, choose the SRC source folder. That's where it should go and the package name is still the same. So done, we have a class called hello name now there it is that doesn't have any methods inside it we'll go back to our test again assign this to a variable if we pass a name to this greeting it should return as a string let's say Bharat and I'm going to assign this to a string variable because we are expecting that it will return a string. String result. Again, Eclipse will complain that this method doesn't even exist. So let Eclipse do some work and let us create the contract. Create the method, get greeting. in the hello name. So we have our method which currently returns a null value. Now before we fix it to do the actual work, let's do an assert. First make the test fail and then let's fix our code and the contract. Assert equals So what I'm expecting is hello space whatever name we are passing in. That's the expected result comma the result that it's failing because the expected value is hello Bharat but our method is returning a null value still as you can see here. So let's fix our method now to return a valid result as per the requirement. Hello 
space plus whatever name we are passing in save it and uh, let's rerun the test so whenever we TDD do TDD keep in mind that we first create all the contact and everything from our test and then make the test fail as per the requirements we create the contract and then we make the tests pass and we do it in multiple times depending on how big the requirement is and how big our method will be for the various combinations of our tests that's simple to do to do tdd or test driven development as you practice it more you will uh, realize the benefits of it and love doing it to quickly summarize we have created our test first and then generated or driven our code from the test I'll do a lot more complex examples in the future. You can download this entire project from my website. The link for it will be below my YouTube video in the description.